going on everyone, it's Money here and welcome to another exciting video tutorial. So today, we will be taking a look at an application called as the Deepin Software Center, alright? So, uh, this application is similar to that of the Ubuntu Software Center, but what really differentiates it from the Ubuntu Software Center is that on how the softwares or the applications are laid out in it. It follows a very clean laid out approach and is more quicker when compared to that of the Ubuntu Software Center. Look, I'm not saying that Ubuntu Software Center is a very complex application uh, to use, but most of the time it's, uh, you know, it's frequently very slow and it doesn't quite integrate everything you want to do with the package manager. But nevertheless, uh, Deepin looks great and functions more faster and is definitely worth a try. So if in case you want to install this application, all you got to do is that check out my description. There's a link over there. Go to that particular website, download the Debian file. So once you've got the Debian file downloaded, open it with Ubuntu Software Center and install it. So now let's take a look at the application which I'm talking about. So at the home page we have got like few applications which are displayed with some uh, graphics and stuff like that. And below are some of the uh, some of the applications which are well broken down according to the category. So as I said you the applications are just beautifully categorized according to the category and to install any of the preferred applications all you got to do is that select the application and click on the install button over here. And to know more information regarding a certain application, click on the application name and that should basically display you a page with some write-ups and screenshot attached along with it. And now, the next feature about this particular software is that uh, we have got a program counter over here which basically tells you the number of applications which fall under a certain category. So there are like 233 applications under sound and video category over here. And this particular application also lets you to sort the application based on the recommendations, download and the ratings which they have earned. The best part about this particular application is that it lets you to upgrade the applications or the packages through a certain feature over here that is the upgrade tab. So go to the upgrade tab and you can choose manually the packages you want to upgrade or you can just select all the applications uh, for upgrading. That's really up to you. And the next thing about this particular application is that the uninstall tab which basically lets you to uninstall the applications and the uh, this particular application also lets you to change the theme so that it really blends out with the background so in order to change the theme click on the rectangular thing over here and choose the theme which you want so that currently there are like six themes which are installed by default and uh, um, so that's it guys. Uh, so finally to conclude, uh, is it a perfect software center? Probably not because uh, I encountered like few uh, bugs when uh, playing around with it, but it's nice in its own ways, you know. I really hope that Ubuntu team incorporates some of the ideas from this particular application to make the Ubuntu software center uh, much better. So hope you guys have liked this video and please don't forget to rate and subscribe and like our FV fan page for regular updates. Take care.